but I think Trump, you know, he's he's in the man in 2016. But he has a lot of fan base, a lot of crowd support, a lot of people in America love him. Uh, and this is not, I'm not an American, uh, so I'm a Malaysian. So this is my prediction on what uh, what we think about the president here. I mean, uh, in Malaysia, we, we don't, we, any presidential elections, we only know who are the president once they get elected. We don't really... People here don't really care about, you know, uh, elections. I, I like to to see on elections, sometimes even more than my, you know, local uh, Malaysian election. But um, from my point of view, people here don't really like Trump uh, compared to how they like Obama. I think a lot of people here are much more, you know, left-leaning in terms of, you know, uh, Trump is not really liked. But a lot of people do, you know, accept him for, for what it is. I know Trump from, you know, watching the uh, series of uh, uh, the, uh, where he always say, you're fired, you're fired. So you're, you're not sure what that is. Apprentice, yes, Apprentice. Uh, I, I used to watch the show back when I was, you know, in 12 years old in schooling. And then, uh, and then of course, uh, 2016 happened, 2015, 2016. And then he pressed his, the president, of course, since these four years. Uh, there's a lot of people who don't like him. I think uh, very much more divisive America compared to uh, back in the uh, 90s, I would say. So this is the uh, election map. Uh, I would say, you know, um, looking at the forecasts, a lot of people are saying Trump will lose uh, this time around, like they used to say in 2016. I would say Trump is not... Uh, as popular as he was four years back. A lot of people like him, don't get me wrong, his fan base is much more solid than ever. They love him, but as I can say, it's a pandemic year, things have not doing well. If this was a non-pandemic year, I would say eyes shut that he would have won with no obstacle. Who, who would have chosen Joe Biden? I mean, the economy, the American economy was doing well all the way until the you know the coronavirus and then of course trump of course telling it was a hoax and then you know there are a lot of things going on uh, even the democrats were telling you know, go to chinatown don't be racist whatever so if you look at two perspectives both parties pretty much did not help really well i mean uh, there are people that were telling people to not shut down because they just don't like trump they want to win ra racial points and then then after that, they, they come to the census, you know, we shouldn't have, we should uh, shut China down, uh, block people from China. So I would say there are plus and minuses. I'm just trying to be as fair as possible. Not everything Trump does is, is, is wrong and not everything the Democrats do is right. So uh, without further ado, so these are the states that are surely to be democratic. I would say no doubt about it, California. Definitely going to Joe Biden. Oregon, which is a very interesting state because Oregon is trying to, is actually more leaning towards the right. I think in the next four or five, sorry, two election cycles or the next election, Oregon might be a toss-up state. I think Oregon will surely go going red. A lot of counties in Oregon, uh, especially uh, besides uh, what happened, of course, in uh, Portland, uh, they are starting to become much more conservative. Washington, of course, going blue. Uh, Idaho going red, Idaho, Montana, uh, Utah, of course, Nebraska. I know I'm not doing the district. I, I don't really know what 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 is that. I just I think that I think Nebraska is going red. Kansas, Oklahoma, New Orleans, Arkansas, Missouri, Mississippi, Alabama, Tennessee, Kentucky, Indiana. Uh, I think Ohio is definitely going red. Uh, sorry, West Virginia. Uh, Virginia is going blue, Alaska is going red, Hawaii is going blue, um, let's see, uh, Vermont, blue, New Hampshire, Maryland, all these states, I don't see them flipping. Uh, I think if Hillary can pick these states, which she did not do well in, in, 20, in 2016, I think everything changed for Hillary in the very last minute. In the polling days, I think they a lot of people changed their mind. A lot of people maybe voted late and a lot of people did not vote. A lot of people who voted for Obama did not show up to vote or they voted for Trump instead. 
So that is what happened. Trump narrowly win the Rust Belt. So a lot of people are telling me Trump won big. He, yes, he flipped states, but he did not win big as a lot of people claim to him. He won by few percentage points, 0 0.8, 0 0.7 in the Rust Belt. So it's not really a Trump landslide uh, in 2016. He just got the edge of Hillary. So Maine, I know they have a district, I'm so going to say going red. New York, uh, Georgia, South Carolina, surely going red. Uh, Illinois, surely going uh, blue. Minnesota, I see. Minnesota has been uh, dipping in support for the Democrats this time, even the last time around. But this time around, I think they're going blue. Uh, New Mexico going blue, Colorado I think, uh, used to be a Republican state, now going blue. So that's leave us with the source up states of Florida, Georgia, and you can see that the Democrats or Biden already have 227, Republican, Trump only have one, 144. Now I think Iowa is going red, Georgia is going red, a lot of people are telling me Georgia still uh, uh, you know, a lean Democratic, but I think Georgia, at the end of the day, by 3rd November, it will be going. It will be going red. Texas also a lot of people stay. Uh, it's leaning Democratic. A lot of uh, people from California, a lot of people from the major huge cities who are very Democratic, uh, are actually shifting to Texas. So Texas will be in play not this time around, but in the in the few cycles, Texas will be going much more. Not really suddenly becoming a very blue state, but it will be a toss up state. Unlike you know a few years back where. When you see Texas, is always going to be Republican, especially during the Bush, the Reagan era. There's no way you have said. I think since, since Lyndon B. Johnson, who was the last Texan uh, president who was a Democrat, he was the last person who actually won here, if I'm not mistaken. I think Jimmy Carter, I'm not sure Jimmy Carter won here or not, but uh, Texas so far has been very leaning blue. Uh, so you've been left with Republicans 204, Democrats 227. Now, I think Nevada will be going this time. If Hillary can take it, I think Biden will do slightly better. So Nevada is going blue. Now, Arizona is a very interesting time this time around because Clinton had a very good record all the way until the election day. You see the cycle going on similarly with Biden. A lot of people are saying Biden is going to win Arizona. Biden is going to do well because McCain is not very popular. Republicans is not very popular, of course. But you have to remember that a lot of majority of the hardcore Republican supporters have all in the last four years become Donald Trump Republicans. So if any of the senators who do not like the presidency, they are, might not, they might be, be voting out. So I would say, uh, yes, a lot of people are saying, you know what, Democrats uh, might be winning Arizona. I don't think so, not this time around. This time around, I think it's going to be Arizona will stay to be a red state, by, but by narrow margins, 0 0.5 maybe, 0 0.4, but Trump is going to take the state. That leaves us with Democrat 233, Republicans 215. I think Wisconsin will still be going red. I think this state, uh, just like a lot of pollsters have been telling me, you know, Biden is going to win this time. It's what they happened during Hillary's time. Now, I know Biden is not Hillary and Trump 2020 is not Trump 2016. We have a coronavirus pandemic, which a lot of people, you know, have been... It's, it's a very different story. A lot of elderly, a lot of women voters have shifted their votes overall. But I think Michigan will be going for Joe Biden. Michigan, with his all very important 16 electoral votes... North Carolina, I think, will stay in play for the president. Uh, sorry, it's for the, uh, yes, the Donald Trump, which makes 240 to 40, 249. So only remains Pennsylvania and Florida. Now, this is a very important state. Um, by Trump flipped Pennsylvania, to, Pennsylvania and Florida back in 2016. But this time around, I think Pennsylvania is a very key, important state. And I think Biden will carry it by the narrowest of margin because you have to say that, you know, a lot of people, you know, love uh, Joe Biden there, uh, elderly, of course, you know, a lot of Republicans as well. But I would say that Pennsylvania, compared to Ohio and Wisconsin, I think Pennsylvania has a higher chance of regaining uh, Democratic support.
which already gives uh, Democrats 240 to 240. Now, I think Florida will go to the president. Of course, um, we have, uh, sorry. So we have the situation where it's 269 by 269. And Biden will carry one of the districts from Nebraska. So uh, I think Nebraska will be carrying one district from Nebraska. So which gives Biden a very narrow win, 270 to 268. So that is my prediction. And even Maine, the president might carry or might carry not. So this will is my prediction for 2020. My gut say Biden will win. I'm not supporting Biden or Trump. I like Trump, uh, what the way he deals with China. Uh, but of course, I like his rhetoric. Uh, you know, China is bad and whatever, China virus. I mean, but sometimes it's, it's not really the case. And Biden, he has substance too. But of course, he is still a standard, you know, Democrat. He's pretty much going to deliver as what, you know, I think Biden is much more on the right compared to Obama or pretty much in the same way he still has his first amendment and whatnot but i think it's going to be a close election so this is my final result i think florida will still go to i think if you want to have to, maybe the only other categories i think maybe will be like this but i'm certain that biden will not cross over to 300 electoral votes i think if he wins it will be a narrowest of margins but i'm just going to say wisconsin will go to trump so this is what the polls look like because I know a lot of polls, most polls are from the left wing media and sometimes the right wing media also will be too biased. There's a problem with American media. There's two bias in Fox News will say Trump is God, Trump is best. CNN will say Trump is horrible. There's just no check and balance anymore. But of course, a lot of people, Trump really have, you know, a lot of white suburban, uh, suburban voters urban voters, educated white voters go, tend to go to democratic. Of course, minorities will definitely go, especially, but certain minorities, of course, in the uh, Cubans, I think certain, not every minority group uh, will vote for, 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 for Democrat. I think the, the, the trend is slowly changing. So this is my final prediction. Democrat Biden winning by 270 to Republican by 268. I think Trump will challenge this decision and this will be something even for more spectacular. There will be recounts, but I think Biden will win by narrowest of margins. But I don't think so that, you know, the map that we are seeing now is Biden winning Texas. He wins Florida. He wins in uh, New North Carolina, Georgia, Wisconsin, in even Iowa. This I don't think so. This is really realistic because a lot of people are voting for Biden because they hate Trump. But Trump supporters have a very enthusiastic because Trump is a showman. He is very smart in giving rallies. That's why he loves rallies. He knows how to rile up a crowd compared to, you know, Joe Biden. Obama knows how to rile up a crowd. So he's a very polished politician. So Obama is, Biden is not Obama. And then Obama is really rallying for him very hard. So I think the final map you're going to see is something like this. Biden winning by a very narrowest of margins. Trump maybe will challenge him because only by a two, sorry, only by few electoral votes. And uh, we will see how it goes. So that is my prediction for the 2020 US election. It will be a very, very tight race. So thank you for watching. Comment and subscribe if you like.